Hey, how's it going? You're just getting started and there are many, 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 many models, frameworks, and tools out there. Now, look, I know what you're thinking. You're new to this whole AI thing, buzzwords everywhere, and it's getting a little confusing. But you need to add AI features right now before the competition does, and you're not really sure where to start. Am I right? If you know someone who could benefit from this video, share it with them before they mess everything up. Okay, so today I'm gonna give you five super important questions that you must ask yourself so you can make the right choice for your business and save money and time. Before we get to the questions, you absolutely need to know a few things. I promise, this will be quick. First, not all models are created equal. Keep in mind that there are other options than the most famous LLMs. I'm talking about GPT, Gemini, Claude, and others. You could choose a large language model that is perfect for your needs and pay peanuts for it. Depending on your use case, you may be just fine with a small but fast LLM. This is just a reminder that there are plenty of LLMs out there. All right, second, a framework is a dependency. Should you consider a framework like Langchain? Well, it depends. If you choose to go for a framework, keep in mind that your app is going to rely on third-party tools and software. This could save you lots of time, but since these tools are built to serve the masses and for the general use cases, if you need a very specific custom feature, you may find that customizing these frameworks isn't as easy as setting them up. Third, the future of business is agentic. How much do you want to automate? Is your app just suggesting some text or are you planning a full trip, including finding accommodation, sending emails? emails and researching places all autonomously. Now everyone is talking about agents, but what does this really mean? Imagine two ChatGPTs talking to each other. We'll call each ChatGPT an agent. You give them a problem and they talk until the problem is solved. The cool thing here is that agents can use tools like browse the internet or turn on your light switch by integrating with external APIs, for example. So the use cases are kind of limitless. You could build agents yourself if the time and costs allow it. But there are also cool frameworks that let you build these apps super fast. I've personally tested Autogen and Crew AI and I have a few videos videos about each of them, I'll leave a link in the description for you. Okay, finally, we get to the questions. Question one, what am I building exactly? Is it a chatbot, a search engine, or something more complicated like a multi-agent rag system perhaps? Answering the what as accurately as possible sets the foundation, the scope, guides decisions, and ensures everyone is on the same boat. Unless you're working by yourself, then it's just you on a boat alone. Question two, why do I need AI in the first place? Am I looking to add this because it's trending now? Maybe I want to increase my revenue or is it a core business requirement? Meaning, does it impact customer satisfaction directly? If that's the case, it's important to consider the speed of the large language model and whether your users will be satisfied with it. Not to mention the extra price tag that your users have to pay now. Also, do you really need AI for this or could you achieve the same results using traditional methods? Question three, what is my budget? Unless you're super duper rich, you're probably on a budget and a pretty tight one. So maybe GPT-4 isn't a great option for you. Consider fine tuning and optimizing prompts since strategies like these could save you a few bucks here and there. Remember, you have to factor in all of the services and tools you're using to come up with a cost estimate that works with your budget. Question four, how much time do I have? Do I have all the time in the world or I need to ship this ASAP like yesterday? So you may want to consider using frameworks here to cut development time and resources, but not all frameworks are created equal. Choose the one based on what you need. And finally, question five, what kind of information am I processing? AI can process anything from your browsing history, financial records, to medical data, raising privacy concerns with your users. So make sure you store user data properly and handle it as necessary. Now, obviously it all depends on what you're doing. So basically what I'm just saying here is that you should always identify the problem, do the research, and choose the right tools. Okay, just to keep this short and to the point, don't choose GPT or Gemini or Claude or whatever model because it's cool and everyone is talking about it. Similarly, don't just hop on the frameworks train and use Langchain, Llama Index, Autogen, or Cray AI because it's the thing. I mean, I'm not saying they're bad, but you have to evaluate your business needs, budget, time, and so many other factors to determine the best solution for you. So yeah, please do share this video with your boss, friend, coworker, or whoever is super excited to add AI now like today now. Not only you'll save them the time and effort, but they'll also thank you. And if they do thank you, ask them to subscribe to this channel. You know, I hope that you found this useful. Just take a step back, lots of information online and for free. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.